Now let's look at the key takeaways uh, when selecting uh, these evaluation metrics that we've already looked at. Um, except R squared, uh, the law of values of uh, mean absolute error, mean uh, standard error, uh, squared error, and RMSC uh, usually implies a high accuracy of a regression model. Okay. However, when you're looking at R squared, I have a higher values uh, deemed uh, desirable. Okay. Now, RMSC will always be larger or equal to the mean absolute error. Okay. However, when we have a situation like this, that means all the errors are of the same magnitude. Okay. Uh, also, something to note is that both uh, mean absolute error and RMSC, root mean uh, squared error, uh, can range from zero to infinity. Okay. And they're indifferent to the direction of errors. Okay, um, you know, as a rule of the thumb, the lower values, the better the models are, or, or rather the higher the predictive power of our model. Okay, however, uh, when looking at RMSC or when choosing RM, RMSC, um, just know that it's very sensitive to outliers. So you might wanna investigate further uh, and just look at the potential of removing this outliers in order to improve the predictive power of your model. Okay. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that uh, when comparing uh, M, uh, my and RMSC is that it, you know, um, uh, RMSC kind of penalizes large errors more than uh, mean absolute error because it kind of just squares the error, uh, if you recall. When comparing both R squared and adjusted R squared, um, both are very useful in explaining how the independent variables in our regression model explains the variability uh, variability in the dependent uh, variables, okay? However, if we are looking at adjusted R squared, okay, this only takes the account or rather takes accounts of the predictor variables or our independent variables, okay? Now, um, R squared has a tendency of showing a very high uh, value, especially when there's an increase of independent variables. So uh, adjusted R squared tries to uh, penalize, um, uh, uh, penalize any addition of independent variables, especially those that are not relevant or significant, okay? Now, again here, lastly, um, when we are measuring the model performance, um, of two or more uh, models, then RMSC is a good candidate, okay? And we prefer that uh, more than MAE or R squared, <clears throat> okay? Uh, again, uh, looking at RMSC and R squared, uh, both are used to quantify how well a regression model fits a data set, okay? Whereas a RMSC here tells us how well a regression model can predict a value, okay? Uh, of a response variable or dependent variable in absolute terms, R squared here. So R squared here will tell us how well the predictor variables or the independent variables, okay, can explain the variation in our dependent or response variable. So just take cognizance of these uh, differences. So that now uh, RMSC here mostly, so if we have an RMSC of 0.85, this is the same as saying that 85%, uh, so if you look at it, uh, at it in terms of uh, dependent and independent variable, we can say uh, this model is explained by 85% of the variance in our independent variable. Okay, so that's just another way of looking at it. All right, and that concludes uh, this section on using evaluation metrics for regression analysis.